I went for a regular mammogram like I did every year. I even got the 3D mammogram, which is a far superior uh, kind of mammogram today. And I got a clean bill of health. And then I walked across the hall and I had an ultrasound. And I heard those words, you have cancer. And quite honestly, I never had any family history, so I was kind of living a myth. I, I kind of felt like I was immune. So I was shocked when I heard. Um, I was by myself. I didn't take anybody along because I didn't expect to hear that. Uh, and they said, you need to be biopsied right away. And I, had, I was going to my daughter's gymnastics meet, and she's only 10, and I didn't want to miss it. And so I told the doctor, and she said, I don't usually let women walk out the door because all too often they don't come back because they're afraid to come back and find out. But I'm going to trust you on this one, but come back tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And I went back the next morning and got the biopsy. And I remember going to the cancer surgeon thinking, boy, I hope this doesn't mean I have to have a bunch of weeks of radiation. It completely had not hit me yet that I could have nine months of treatment ahead of me and such a rigorous uh, regimen of chemotherapy. I'm going to really surprise you on this one. My last day of treatment, I just was emotionally just a wreck. And people don't always think that's going to happen. Everybody thinks you're going to have a party and put up balloons. And, and it's an anxiety-producing moment. I mean, I had a lot of days of just feeling lousy. But on that day, you've been watched over. You've had your bloods checked every week in and week out. You've been doing something about fighting your cancer for nine months. And then all of a sudden, they say, OK, you're done. Have a nice life. And it's, it's like jumping off a cliff. It's like a free fall. Um, it, it, it really threw me. And it, it has taken me weeks and weeks to kind of like kind of calm down from that. Uh, and I think being out and talking about my journey and sharing it and attending breast cancer events and you know, 5K races to race for the cures, those, those have all kind of like rallied me and brought my strength back um, after, it's almost like being dealt a blow, which is kind of a, it almost seems contradictory. Um, but that, but people should know that that one really hits you hard. No one has to go through this alone, and you shouldn't go through it alone. There are amazing support systems out there. The, the breast cancer community, I mean, it's not really a sorority you want to join. Um, the initiation stinks. <laughs> but wow, it's a powerful, compassionate organization, far-reaching to every, every town in the United States. So find a support system. If you join Alive with Joan, AliveWithJoan.com, my, my mission here is to try to bring together every woman who needs help and who feels like she's going through this alone, together with organizations to provide her with the essential services she needs and the hug and support that she needs. <laughs>